May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. August 24, 2023 Feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Philip found Nathanael, and he said to him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and the prophets, Jesus, the son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good be from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, and he said about him, Behold, an Israelite in whom truly there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, From where do you know me? Jesus responded and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him and said, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus responded and said to him, Because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree, you believe. Greater things than these, you will see. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending over the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection When faced with doubts and confusion, are you willing to approach Jesus with an open heart, trusting in his guidance and grace to remove your doubts and strengthen your faith? Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. John 1 verses 45 to 46 Nathanael, who also goes by the name Bartholomew, reacted strongly to the news from his friend Philip, that they had found the promised Messiah. Why did Nathanael react this way? Most likely because it was common knowledge among the Jews that the promised Messiah would come from Bethlehem, not from Nazareth. So Nathanael immediately raises this doubt because of Jesus' supposed origin. Of course, Jesus actually was born in Bethlehem and only later moved to Nazareth, but Nathanael did not immediately realize this. The first lesson to ponder today is that, just like Nathanael, we can easily doubt matters of faith, because we do not fully understand. Perhaps if Philip had come and said that Jesus was born in Bethlehem but raised in Nazareth, then Nathanael may have been more immediately open. But this encounter most likely unfolded, as it did with Nathanael's initial doubt, because the Holy Spirit who inspired these scriptures, wanted us to learn an important lesson. The lesson we must learn is that, we must not close the door on the truth, just because something doesn't immediately make sense to us. Doubts are never from God. The good news in this Gospel passage is that, even though Nathanael did immediately express a certain doubt, he remained open to what Philip was saying. Philip, in answer to this doubt, said the best thing he could have said. He said, come and see. What is it in your life that seems confusing to you, in regard to your life or in regard to the many truths of our faith? If there is something that you struggle with in this way, then listen to the words of Philip and allow them to be spoken to you, come and see. Once Philip brought Nathanael to Jesus, Nathanael quickly professed his full faith in Jesus as the Son of God and the King of Israel. Jesus said very little to Nathanael to convince him of these truths. Jesus simply told Nathanael that he had seen him sitting under the fig tree and that he knew that Nathanael was a man without guile. To be without guile means that you are not two-faced, rather, you are a very honest and straightforward person. 
Nathaniel's immediate realization of the greatness of Jesus could have only come by the gift of grace working in his soul. He came to see Jesus and believe through the interior gift of faith. The lesson of Nathaniel tells us that if we bring our confusion to our Lord in faith and openness, all will be made clear. We will have our temptations to doubt removed, and we will be able to have faith that goes far beyond human reason alone. Reflect today upon the genuineness and openness of the heart of Nathaniel. Bring to our Lord any and every question you have with the expectation that you will receive what you need. Faith does not usually come through convincing arguments or detailed deductive reasoning. It normally comes through a pure and simple openness to the voice of God speaking within our soul. But when the gift of faith is given, it brings with it a holy certainty that cannot be doubted. Let us pray. My loving Lord, you invite all of us to come to you, to see you, and to have faith in you. You truly are the Son of God, and the King of all. Please open my mind to all that you wish to say to me so that I may shed my doubts and come to a transforming faith in all things. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.